If you work from home, you've probably noticed that even exercising looks different when you're not in a formal corporate office. So today we're going to talk about some strategies to get you exercising as you work from home. Hey everyone, it's Leanne from LeanneCalderwood.com and I've been working from home for decades. So you would think that I would have this exercise as I'm working from home down pat, but it's so not true. I think working from home, one of the hardest things to do is carving out time for exercise. So I want to talk today about some strategies to get us back into a fitness mode when we're working from home. And then of course, go through some of the more popular exercises that we can fit into our new schedules while working from home. To start, I think the hardest thing for people who work from home is to actually be intentional about exercise. There's so many more distractions when you're working from home and exercise and fitness seem to get pushed to the wayside. Um, and what takes center stage instead could be even the refrigerator. So it's this double edged sword of not exercising enough eating too much because it's always there. And all of a sudden six months go by and we've gained this massive amount of weight just from working from home and nothing else in our life has really changed. So the biggest teaching I can give you today is to actually be intentional about your exercise. And that means scheduling it, putting it in your work calendar that you are carving out time to do some exercise. And I talk about some other scheduling tips for working from home in my blog and vlog up here, but exercise needs to be one of those key things we schedule every single day intentionally. Folks, we're in an industry that is extremely reactive and we're finding that it's easier to work than it is to work out. We have emails and phone calls coming at us constantly and it is so easy for us to say, I'm going to answer all of these emails than it is for us to get off our butts and go to the gym for an hour. And here's the thing, 95% of our work does not need to be answered right away. We are not saving lives here, people. You can take an hour out of your busy day to go work out. There is very little that would be so pressing that you had to give up a workout to attend to right away in our roles as meeting planners and meeting professionals in this industry. Again, there's going to be extenuating circumstances, but we need to remove work as being the excuse for us not working out. Okay, so now we've done that. We've removed the excuse. We've actually scheduled it in our calendar. Now we've got this time, we've got to figure out what to do with it. So here are some of the more popular exercises or exercise methods that you can tackle while working from home without losing out on a bunch of time to get there and back. So here we go. First off, and the most popular, is probably a traditional gym setting, and that's the one that I go to. I go to a boot camp gym where the classes are half an hour in length, right? I can give up half an hour a day to exercise, so half an hour in length, uh, and they kick my butt. Now, I schedule it around other errands I have to run. Right now, my son is doing basketball at 7 in the morning. So I take him to basketball, and then I go to the 7 a.m. class at my gym. It's brilliant. You can do the same thing if you're running kids out somewhere, or you need to go grocery shopping and head to Walmart, and your class is going to start at a certain time. You can schedule this as well. So a traditional gym, still probably one of the more popular ones, and it keeps you accountable. Number two, now that you're working from home, an in-home gym works as well. I have tried it, I'm not good at it, but it doesn't mean it doesn't work. My sister does it all the time. So if you're the type of person that can intentionally remove yourself from your desk, get your workout in, and then return to your desk, then this is the method for you. And now with YouTube, there are so many at-home workouts that you can even just Google on YouTube and use in your in-home gym that there's no need for you to be these massive fitness experts at home to actually get your workout in. So again, no excuses if you're going to have an in-home gym. 
Number three, go for a walk or a run in your neighborhood. This is also one of my favorites and it doesn't require a lot of equipment. If you're not a runner, that's fine. A walk is still just as effective as a workout. Um, make it a brisk walk. Uh, take your dog. Just get out there. Enjoy your neighborhood. Uh, and then return to your desk and get back to work. Oh, it's that change of scenery as well um, just invigorates you and, and gets you ready for the rest of your day at work. And finally, one of my other favorites is when you're doing client meetings, try and schedule them around exercise as well. I've seen a lot of meeting partners now do client events where they're inviting clients to these like Thai bow gyms and these different workout places. What a phenomenal idea. I just love it. Uh, and if you're doing one on one, then the two of you should go for a walk. And whether you're downtown or in a, an out, outlying area, just go for a walk around the neighborhood or around a city park while you're having your meeting rather than sitting across from one another in a restaurant where, again, you're consuming all of these high fat and high caloric foods. So try and infuse exercise in some of the client meetings that you're doing. And you'd be surprised. I think you're clients would really appreciate that. So those are my tips for exercising when working from home. And if you have just started working from home or you're thinking about working from home, if you jump over to my blog over at leannecalderwood.com, I have a resource over there that's a self-evaluation tool to figure out if working from home is right for you. Because it's not for everybody. You need a different mindset when you're working from home. So jump on over to leannecalderwood.com, do the self-evaluation, see if working from home is right for you and start to already design some strategies to make yourself more successful. Hope you've enjoyed this week's video and we will see you next time. Bye for now.